I went in thinking that there was going to be a set kind of way to do it or questions, really good questions to ask when you're taking care of people or kind of like things you can work through. And I came to find out that was not the case. It was blending uh, sound psychology with biblical theology. The first semester, if you will, gave us kind of a broad umbrella picture of what Christian caregiving looks like. Uh, big picture things. And then the second semester was really focused on more on these specific situations. It gave us very tangible ways to care for people in those situations. I mean, nope, it's not about the right questions you ask. It's actually more about the listening and letting the Holy Spirit really move in you and then respond out of that. It's given me a better understanding of how important the spiritual aspect is when someone's hurting. The biggest takeaway for me is that, again, it's a threesome. There's always the Holy Spirit there with you. It made me really analyze how I communicated with people, what I did when someone talked to me, et cetera, and what I didn't do. Listening is such a big part of the training. You, it's so different from hearing. You hear stuff, but are you really listening? That was probably the greatest teaching part and the greatest impact on what I went through there, was to just empty my own definitions of what I'm listening to and really listen. For me, the whole part on the communication, the listening, the how to be present in the moment with the people talking was extremely beneficial. How far it goes really uh, when you're taking care of someone or caring for somebody to just be able to sit there with them in it and be able to process with them and listen to them well and not have a, a you know a pre-agenda answer and actually just be able to listen and respond. Uh, I've learned some things about about judging too. Observation is much more important than judging. And uh, observation leads to questions and open-ended questions and understanding and compassion happens in that arena. Live, so I think it gives you tools in your toolbox to really care for people well inside and outside of the church. It was practice. It was good, safe, like in a safe environment and the leaders were there to help you. You were practicing right there what you were learning. Stephen Ministry taught me how to step in with a little bit more confidence to situations that I wouldn't have normally stepped into. 50 hours sounds like a lot, but when you really get into it, it's not all that much because it's so exciting because there is so much information 